I love football. I love football helmets. Steve and his whole team, they're one of the best in the world. I'll let you introduce yourself to everyone on YouTube who doesn't already know who you are. It is my honor to have Lamar out here. We're in Greenville, South Carolina at Green Grid Iron headquarters, and we're about to set Lamar up with a proper facility tour. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the combat. All right, so Steve, tell everybody where we're at and what goes down here. Yeah, <laughs> so here is how it works, right? You're a customer, you go to greengridiron.com and you buy either a collectible or a field use helmet. What we do that nobody else really does is we offer full customization on the fly, right? Yeah. So if you want a white speed flex with a maroon face mask with a black visor, we pull it all, it gets in a bin, we have shipping and assembly guys, they work for you, free assembly, put it in a box, out the door, it's in your hands in like four to five days. Okay. Let's put you to work, man. So, so be a one. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Justin and Travis, right? So shout out, shout out to Justin and Travis. <laughs> um, I say let's, let's put him to work with something. I'm in training, y'all. I'm just, I'm learning right now. I'm learning. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's see, let's see what we got. Let's see, put that here. We take right here. Okay. There you go. Keep it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta use my muscles down here in Carolina. Yeah. I feel like I didn't hear a click yet. I think it did. Actually. Did it click? I okay. It it Best way to tell. Yeah. You're in there. We know, I don't want. I don't want to mess no one's helmet up out here. We got. We send it safe. All right, y'all. I'm gonna do this one better. Got one. Boom. Keep it in there. All right. Yeah. Sometimes See. The, the trick is push the inside of the helmet towards the pin. Okay. When you pop the little piece in, so this one's come back out. Uh huh. So push it back in with your tool. Okay. You want to push the helmet towards the pin. That way it stays. There you go. Oh, okay. Now, now yeah. Put that on there. Okay. Oh, then this one. Yep. Then. And just kind of squeeze them together. And it's all about the angle more yeah. than the actual strength. Yeah. Hey. Try to get this. <laughs> mm. Flush. Man, listen, I am struggling. You, hey, listen, you was you was telling the truth, man. I am struggling over here. Try using the pad of your hand. Okay, like that. Yeah. Part right there, you go. I do it. Man, this, I want to get it now just for the hell of it. How you do it? Watch you get in like two seconds. Like that. Boom. <laughs> like two seconds. Oh, go. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go. Boom. This one to so push this down. Yeah, that'll, okay. that'll release it and then just go pop it right back. Damn it. You said the angle. Try to get it flush. Yep, you want to get it as flush on that pin as possible. I'm in here like really looking at the damn. <laughs> sweat right now, aren't you? What, listen, I, I am not giving up. I got that. Then come here. There it is. They go there in? Yep. Ha! How easy that was. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't worry, for everybody watching this, I will not be building any helmets. I'm gonna leave it to the pros to do what the pros do, but I got one though. We just kind of glance over it to make sure, make sure everything looks good on it. There's no scratches. Sure. Uh, make sure all the parts are on it, which we're good to go. Always okay. kind of give the face mask a little tug. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep, take it out here, throw it in a box and... So I just got to do a customer bill, which was, it wasn't the easiest, but I got it done, yep. thanks to the good guys. I know you guys do some team stuff too. Talk to me about where we're at and what, what you guys do here for teams. Yeah, so what you just saw was exactly that, right? It was customers shopping at Green Gridiron. Back here is really more where the team action happens. So any given day, boxes arrive. They can be from, you know, the Dallas Cowboys or just some local youth league. They all get the exact same treatment, which is perfection, right? I love that. Masks come in, they get inspected, they get stripped, and then they get back down to bare metal. From there, they get hand dipped one by one. And then we also have a conveyor uh, oven in a different facility. And we'll do anywhere from, you know, 35 to 45,000 masks in a year. Wow. Yeah. And we have a staff of about 20 here. Um, and some of them only dip, some of them only ship. But we kind of pace it around because it's all hard work, right? Okay, so not many people get to see the masks in this form. This is stripped down to bare metal, right? So this is a speed flex mask, it has the eye guards. This is what it looks like stainless steel without the powder coat. These are examples of masks that would come in for reconditioning, right? Yeah. 
this one might have gotten used for maybe three to five games. This is definitely either a lineman or a running back. Somebody who's putting in work, yeah. right? <laughs> this one, not so much. Almost the same mask, but only a couple of small points of metal showing. It doesn't matter. Yes. The teams at the highest level, every single game, they're taking their masks off, putting on nice shiny new ones. Yeah. You gotta look good for camera, Got right? <laughs> so this is a level of, sometimes they come in pretty gnarly, sometimes they're not so bad. Either way, we take them, we strip them down, they come back like that, yeah. and then they get that hand dipped in that real thick industrial strength powder coat. All right, so right now we're in the back of the warehouse. Talk to me about all of this. It's, it's a lot going on back here, it's probably, I'm not even gonna try to guess the number of helmets, but it's thousands. Talk to me about what we got going on. This is what about 15,000 helmets looks like. So we have an array of helmets and sizes and colors, right? It's like yeah. a, opening up a bag of Skittles back here. <laughs> and we have helmets ranging from, you know, $99 yeah. up to 500 plus. Yeah. So we have something for everyone and we're proud to have all this stuff. What's really cool about what we do between the team masks and the helmets is you cannot watch football without seeing our stuff on the field. Wow. Can't happen. <laughs> so one or both of those teams are either gonna have our masks, our helmets, our 3D bumpers, our custom visors, and anything in between. That is super cool. Yep. Man. So this is what 32,000 square foot warehouse looks like. All right, so talk to me about how, how I found you guys. So basically, we're doing a video for my YouTube right now, mm -hmm. uh, but shout out to Amanda who's on your team. I saw a video, I didn't even know I wanted a helmet, but as you guys know, I played college football, I used to work in the NFL, I still work with a lot of NFL players. So like, these things, like if you're watching this video and like you kind of get that itch, it might mean that you need a helmet. We're not telling everyone to go buy helmets, but if you are going to buy helmets, here's a guy. So talk to me about your marketing and how you guys do it because your YouTube channel is phenomenal. Like, oh, well, thanks, man. <laughs> and, and I appreciate that. And it is a, a good point where um, basically the third branch of our business is a marketing company between TikTok Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. Like we're, we're just under a million followers, right? Which drives about three and a half to four million website visits. Wow. We rely heavily on the sex appeal of these cool helmets. Yeah. I mean, they're just, they're sick, they're, right? Yeah, they look good. And the collectible ones are no different than the field use ones. People like to put things together and tinker like models, right? right. And you had the good point of saying, you didn't even know you wanted one. I really did. And then you come <laughs> across YouTube. So the goal of our social media is to put content content out every single day across every platform from Pinterest, TikTok, Twitter, you know, you name it. People like yourself can come into a YouTube experience, get a little bit of a tour and then build their dream helmet on set, right? So what you're doing is you're going to fit that in maybe a little bit later today. We're going to build you another helmet. And it's important that we have this team that understands every picture and every angle really matters. Yes, seriously. And for everyone watching this right now, like seriously, if you guys go to the Green Gridiron website, you just got to fill out the YouTube experience. They get a lot of inquiries, so I'm not making any promises. But if you do want to be on the show, that's something where you can reach out to them and tell them, you know, what you want to do, get your helmet, and maybe you can be on the show. So make sure you guys check the website for that. This is where all the magic happens. This is a very familiar place. It's a lot to take in, right? <laughs> so this is the YouTube studio, and we it's really set up in two sections. This is the stuff waiting to get assembled that's where it actually gets assembled now we have a very small portion of the content that actually makes its way onto youtube we're shipping anywhere from 80 to 150 helmets and orders per day right so what we do is we take either the stuff that people pay for youtube experience or just stuff that we just looks you know looks pretty dope let's throw <laughs> it in here um and i could tell you right now a little secret you know behind the scenes stuff we got this rayo negro one coming up that's a hydro dip that's for our location in Mexico. And then we have this one for Jeep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick. We actually had this mask made by hand to Yo, look like a Jeep grill. Sick. You're gonna see this on, on, on Jeep and a couple of other, we have uh, Milwaukee Tools and Napa Auto Parts. And then some of them are just mom and dad buying their kid a cool helmet. Uh, shout out my guy, Alfredo. Uh, he's, he's a player, he plays for San Francisco. He's from Mexico. I got to work with him. Oh, so cool, man. We, got, we, got a, we got a link up with something, man. Shout out to Mexico. I love you guys. We are coming over there to see you soon. Well, I'm coming to see you guys soon. Well, I'm excited to get into that. I know after this, we're going to do our podcast because your whole um, 
procedure in your operation is super interesting. Mm -hmm. So we got to get into that too. But yep, this is what it looks like a little bit behind the scenes of our facility. So I appreciate you guys watching this whole entire tour. It's so fun being here again. I, I played college football. My dream was to make it to the NFL as a player. I did not make it as a player, but I made it as a cameraman. So I get to still get a cool helmet, which right here behind me, I'm about to get into my helmet build. But you guys are gonna have to stay tuned until next week to see that episode. Let the people know if they, if you guys don't already know, where can they connect with you and you guys with the Green Gridiron? Yeah, man. So first off, thank you for coming out. It really, it was my pleasure. At Green Gridiron, hashtag Green Gridiron. That's it. We got that lockdown <laughs> on the internet, man. Steve, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Cheers.